absolutely stunning sunrise today in Borrego Springs, but we are heading north a little bit to Johnson Valley where King of the Hammers actually is. Gonna be meeting up with some dudes up there to take this to Tacoma and kind of like pre-run it, drive it really fast out in the desert, so let's go. Which is actually better because I think we all have all different levels of suspension and all, all different levels of like seat time and stuff. So I just want to make sure you guys just drive, everyone gets home safe, everyone doesn't break anything. Cash? Yes, a good boy. But second gen Tundra, the third gens, fourth gen Tacos, we have a third gen Tacoma down here, and then we also have a Forerunner Tierty Pro. Huh, so we were starting guys, but uh, some uh, YouTuber wanted to take his time filming and stuff, but uh, now we're airing down. Where are you going to, like 25? What are we doing? Are we I, I put mine in 25. He said you don't want to go down too, too much. Just because we will be going somewhat fast and stuff, so you don't want it to potentially DB. Copy that. Uh, you're at 31. Going a little bit. Heading on with some Onyx trails right here. Got it downloaded and everything, because we don't got any real service, but definitely need some chase lights because it's going to be pretty dusty so we're following <laughs> behind some dudes with that. some chase lights which are going to be nice but that would definitely be a modification for the future there so with a, a bunch of the pre-runner dudes that we have we're trying to go up this right here and it's just so sandy and you know when you pre-run your two-wheel drive but they're just digging right up at the top looks like mark's going to try to send it That's way too soft. He, <laughs> he just dug in, he's way too soft. Dude, so now we're on like this dry lake bed, just cruising, only going like 40 right now. Just going, lot ah, breaks a little bit, yeah. Oh. <laughs> 50 miles an hour or so. The wind is also like howling so much today, but it's perfect because it's just keeping the dust down. And we had a little bit of rain too, which is also aiding in keeping that down. Have your guesses in the comments as to what his license plate stands for. On my way, what? <laughs> just check out the wind right now. Absolutely blowing like crazy. Even the little bushes and stuff all over here. When low hanging bushes like this are ripping that much, I mean, look at the course flag too. You need to take it to the coin wash, dude. You ain't putting that in your driveway. Still there? I mean, it's still it is still there. I don't see any scrapes either, like mud though. Scrapes at all? I mean, little bushes and crap, but yeah, like, yeah. So going over some washboard I stuff right back. now, guys, and uh, we're bouncing around for sure. But the truck seems super stable. Definitely got crap in the back, back behind me. But I freaking hate washboards though. But this truck is very, very solid. It almost makes me like, I really want to keep this truck for a while. I freaking love this thing. But it almost makes me really kind of want the TRD Pro because of the isodynamic seats and everything. But I have a whole bunch of crap in the back. It's just making all this noise and everything too. But the truck itself here is super solid. Just cruise them, just cruise them, we'll leave it. Oh! No! Monica! Oh, but we may have the 5.7. Oh, Dude, this thing rips, dude yours it, it hauls dude and your carbon sounds so good i think what it might be too is because i have a larger wheel when it's spinning i'm going like more distant uh, i'm also on toe plus too oh you are what are you in oh dude i even put in sport mode what a rookie bro were you in sport mode no oh it must be the 35s then. I was in toe plus. Go on toe plus. Toe plus? You have toe plus? Yeah. Toe plus is the hardest hit. All right, I'll do toe plus and sport mode. And we'll see how close it is then. Well, I wasn't even in sport mode. All right, so now we got second gen with the 5.7, Mark and Isaiah over there. How is 
just marks Tacoma so much faster, but we are. Oh, sh <laughs> oh, there was some sh in the middle right there, but we had the five seven. I so I did too. I had him a little bit, and I hit some crap, and I was like, oh, sh very far ahead on you, and then I hit some crap in the middle. Oh my god, I thought I was going. All these trucks are just stupid close, man. They're all stupid close, it's crazy. The weight difference of the Tacoma and everything with this, they're close, dude. They're, they're, they're like real close. Got the Tundra this time, catching up with the Ram. Oh, much better. Much better! Dang, son. That's good. Because you're your light bar. Oh, yeah. yeah that's what it was. But that was much better in four high. Are, you, are we going to race back or are you good? Absolutely. Definitely got it. He definitely got it. Look at that Tacoma, though, man. It's a 65, 67. why you invest in good tires, some wheels with some protection rings or something. I've used the crap out of them. Just crazy terrain, man. We go from like just dry lake beds, bonsai in it and stuff to little rock gardens. I mean, just look at it out here. Just the most stunning scenery. It's all out here, man. I'm gonna go up and over. Whoop. So we've been going about 35, 40 miles an hour for probably close to 10, 15 minutes now. The road is finally somewhat smoothed out. But as we get on some deeper bumps like that, I could definitely tell that these Bilsteins are getting hot on the Tacoma. So they're definitely getting hot, starting to bottom out a little bit. The rear bump stops on this, I don't even think this Tacoma has like the best bump stops in the rear. I know it doesn't really have any up front, but dude, it is like mushing and like bottoming out all the time. So the suspension, definitely hot and definitely feeling it. But I mean, we've just been doing this for close to 20 minutes now. <laughs> so yeah, we've just been doing this for a while. Check out the view too, man. 40 miles an hour right now. Wow. So just going, trying to get back to camp. And then just like that, the last bit of stretch is on the road. And what I love about the Tacoma is the simple fact, or almost any Toyota really, is the simple fact that once you're done just banging the absolute piss out of it off-road, like that rock garden and those washboards, they sucked, man. But this truck, completely solid on the pavement. Bunch of wind noise coming from the light bar that we have up top. 70 miles an hour, just going as if none of that really ever happened. Definitely probably need an alignment. Yep, definitely need an alignment <laughs> again. But aside from that, cruising. So full rig walk around of full mag tundra. So the reason why my name is full mag is because when I got the, the, the tundra, I got the TRD Sport version. So with the TRD Sport comes in, 
is all color matched with the the handlebar mustache with the fender flares and the and like the back uh, bumper stuff. So yeah, so this is an SR5 four x four. It's a 2022. I didn't need the TRD off-road. You hardly ever needed four-wheel drive and you hardly ever needed a locker. So I'm primarily building this thing to be more of a pre-runner. This bumper is from C4 Fabrication and we did a bull bar delete because again, I'm trying to go for, for more of that race aesthetic. A Baja Designs 40 inch S8 light bar in the center. And then I have four Squadron Pros and two S2 Pros in my fog pocket. So in the Overland uh, plate bumper, you can only put one Squadron, but as you can see on the hybrids, you can put one, two Squadrons yeah. and an S2 in the That's corner. A lot better for more and it's light. a lot of light, yeah. yeah. Um, a lot of people ask me why I didn't go the TRD Pro Grill. I, I just feel like this is a lot simpler and it's a lot cleaner. And like, I didn't want to run a light bar because I knew I was going to run pod lights. And you have them down here and stuff Exactly, so I stuck with a regular TRD grill. I think it looks more symmetrical and I blacked it out and it just looks great. Like, I, I, I like this look. My truck was in the C4 booth and uh, Alpha Rex, they, they hit me up. They're like, hey, are you going to Overland Expo? I was like, sure am. Mm -hmm. So they said, hey, you want some lights? And I was like, dude, hell yeah. So yeah, so yeah I got these. These are the Alpha Rex. Um, I think they're called the Nova Series and Alpha Black. Mm -hmm. So the actual housing is clear, but the the um, what's it called? Or the lens is clear, but the housing is black. So it yeah, just looks sinister, super really menacing. Good, yeah. Like on the freeway, like if you're driving in front of me and you look in your in your uh, in your rear view, it looks crazy. It looks absolutely yeah, crazy. I like it. Yeah. Thirty-three thousand miles. Probably like forty percent of that is like hard off-road. Like sick. we're talking like. 80 90 miles through through the desert mm -hmm. like going through whoops and mm -hmm. jumps and stuff so we're running a custom king 25 with the eibach 18 inch springs and then a total chaos upper control mm -hmm. arm and this this king 25 is with the with the resi adjuster in the front with the knob what that lets you do is really dial in your compression settings so you can just like how much the rod goes in the shock body to absorb the hit right so so when you're hitting super heavy whoops you you crank that thing up super tight and you just feel like you're floating. But it's not great when you're doing washboard and it just feels like you're just yeah, vibrating, you know? Hurtful. The back is a little bit more work in progress, but it's it's done exceptionally well today. Um, it just, it, it handles only because of the added weight that I have in the back. Oh, with everything back here? Yeah. yeah. So as you can tell, I have a tailgate delete. <laughs> um, I don't have the a tailgate anymore. <laughs> yeah, I don't have a tailgate anymore. And that's because I, I was having problems with my tailgate making noise and the the like bushing mm -hmm. like basically coming loose mm. and I didn't want it to make it worse. It was up to the point to where like I could lift the tailgate up Jeez. on its own and then it would just make noise. Every time I would go over speed bumps, it would make it like a loud banging noise. So these best softeners are from Innovate. They, they make really great um, billet wheels. Uh, these are their bed supports. Yeah, these things are beefy. I'll, I'll uh, demonstrate here. Check out how the truck this is, guys. This is what's stopping your bed from flexing out when you're pre-running. So look. The whole truck. It moves the whole truck. Yeah. These these are not going anywhere. And what's cool is these aren't really load bearing. So there's no really point of like stress. All, the, all this is doing is just keeping it from, from wanting to spread out when you pre-run. But what's cool about this bed setup here is I have the SDHQ chase rack, which lets me run dual full-size spares and a jack. So this is this is this is the Pro Eagle three ton Kratos, um, and it's mounted to the SDHQ rack, and I have two 37s that are so I basically have six 37s that I carry with me, and the reason why I carry two is because when you're out pre running and stuff and like out romping, it's super 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 hard on your tires, you know like these tires have have seen better days, yeah. right? But if one of these pops, I can't rely on the stock. You know, obviously I can't rely on the stock, like whatever thing I need. Oh, no. I need a full size spare, the exact same model, the exact same size to be able to just, Thank yeah, you, I have so. stock links, everything. Um, I have the Dr. KDSS Panhard bolt-on track bar kit. So if you look under there, you can see this blue thing. What that does is oh, yeah. it helps recenter the axle because when you lift a, a, a link truck, it wants to kind of shift towards towards one side or the other. So so this kind of just helps it keep it flat, helps helps recenter it. A squadron is essentially just two S2s mm -hmm. stacked together. Mm -hmm. And the squadron sport, since it's bigger, 
actually shares the same light output as a, as a S2 Pro because it's just doubled. Gotcha. You know. Also, to another thing, if you go on my Instagram page, if you click my link tree, I have my complete build list. So oh, there we go. literally everything that you could ever ask, I I don't think we we could we'd be able to cover it in this video. Hopefully next time you see this thing, it'll be, it'll, it'll, it'll be wide. Yeah. It'll be blowing through it'll those be whoops. Glass, it'll be glass. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. Well, that'll be build update 2.0, so. Exactly. Well, bro, appreciate it. Thank you of for course. the whole run and of everything. Course. And uh, it, I gotta get back out here. It was, it was a lot of fun. Dude, you, you, you have to, man. Yeah. You have to. Sweet dude. Well, that was a super fun time with Isaiah Full Mag Tundra and everyone else, the fur runner, Mark Brenner, and a lot of great other people. Variety of vehicles, that's totally fine. Just because it's a Toyota channel don't mean we can't appreciate other builds and everything like that. But the Tacoma did super solid, very good benchmark to if I ever put different suspension on this truck in the future. But again, we're just driving a little bit of wind noise from the top. Door rattles back here. I know I'm going on a rant right now, but door rattles back here and it has since day one. I never really told you guys. It's like a loose lock thing inside of it. It's just like this annoying tick. But aside from that, truck's solid, man. Love this Tacoma. But guys, I appreciate y'all watching and I will catch you in the next one. All right, see you later.